shadow. Hello there. That horse doing all right? If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. I got some. Good bred horses. Sure, there's one to your life. Little fine grooming, all. Real top of the line horse you got yourself. Some grooming goes a long way. Looks nice. Uh huh. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. That's a good choice. Better the saddle, better the ride. Good to have one of those. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. <clears throat> hey, it costs more for a reason. That's a nice addition on a saddle. Hey. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. I got one of them myself. Always good to have one of those. Mm-hmm. I got one of them myself. Yep. That's a good name for a horse.
Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Monsieur. What's Are gotten into you? In you? <laughs> Monsieur? Mind you Sorry, mister. My mistake. Please! No! Oh, you bastard! Oh, hey, I think that fella might have just picked your problem. Why are you doing this? What's your this problem? What's your problem? I didn't do that! Hey! You don't see this shit! Suck me up!
welcome. How do you do? Quite the bounty you acquired, ain't it? It's a steep price for the outlaw way of life. Good day to you. Sir, come in and have a browse. When you're ready, have a browse of our catalog, and I can go out back and get what you're looking for. I can see you look after your firearm. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Tell me what you like, and I'll get it for you. I think that's the right choice for you. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? Excellent choice. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. You made a good decision. You don't mess around. Time to go. Full deal. You're back. Welcome. Now, let me see. I want to vote. Oh, my man, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said to me, haven't I met you somewhere else?
Tom Nab, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. I have to say, that looks just fantastic on you. Once you try that one on, you'll know for sure. Got what I need. There we go. Yep. Excuse me, I'm trying to find a man named Bronte. You know the name? Bronte? No, don't think so. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Hey there. Have you ever heard of a man called Angelo Bronte? Hmm, no. But fancy names like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. Opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Okay, thank you. Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in nine. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. <clears throat> America's me. dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Over Born here. and raised. Mm. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, sure. that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? 
Where can I find her? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Oh, and friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. You folks around here actually do any work? Just it's all right. Save your breath. Hey, leave me alone. My lord. I've seen mushrooms with bigger brains. Hey, what did I do? Why do you waste my time? It's really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband. There's some kids around here somewhere. Where are they? Easy, tough guy. They over there. Some manners wouldn't kill you. Lucky for him, he didn't have a... Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. Stop. Shit. Bastard! 
You all right back there, old man? Ah, God damn it! I'm ah. spending on something nice, Mister. Ah. I promise. Ah. Ah, shit! This is your last warning, boy. Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh, yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. talking about friend I ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte Senor Bronte that kid was gonna show me before he robbed me <gasps> ah. come on you new in town mister come on mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends mister but I ain't never seen you we ain't friends you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. Sharper than a tech. Thank you. Yeah, that looks good. All right, you're ready to go. Thanks for your assistance.
Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Buenos días. Hey, cuidado. Oh, damn way. Apártate de mí ahora mismo. Away. Ayuda. Come on, girl. <laughs> There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <laughs> You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, 
You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> Not the barest woman here. Angelo Bron. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Okay, girl. All right. Let's go. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson. Yep. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead.
This way. Once we get the boy back, that bastard better keep his word.
let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte. They empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit. It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gap. Lock. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. Best stick to the side. Get down! I found a body! Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here! Lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, Thank Mr. Ready? Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah! All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For 
for that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I have the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Hey, Bill, come on, come on in here. <laughs> He's back, all right. <laughs> hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating or what? Yeah, we're going. We're tired. Hey, how about a song? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. 
Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, Arthur. No order and suspiciously as usual. Uh, I'm just trying to give y'all your moment. Wow, very good.